Hi everyone, it's Vicky, founder and director of the Mind Body Food Institute. I'm joined here by our lovely student support officer, Maggie. So hi, Maggie. Hi, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> we wanted to do this Q&A for you for the frequently asked questions that we receive from prospective students when they're thinking about joining the Institute, becoming part of our very happy family and community and learning with us. So we wanted to do this video for you so that you could see us, you could hear us and you could get a sense of what we're all about, how genuine we are and that we're real people, even though we're an online educational training institute so that we can also answer your questions for you. So we're going to go through some of the most frequently asked questions that we receive when people are thinking about studying with us. And we're hopefully gonna cover everything that you might be thinking. If we don't, please send us an email or send us a message through Facebook or Instagram. We'll get back to you and we'll schedule a call through WhatsApp or Zoom if you'd like to see us and ask your questions in person virtual person. All right, Maggie, what are some of the most frequently asked questions that we get from people thinking about studying with us? We've got a little list here. The first one would be, what are the course dates? That's, mm. Everyone wants to know, when can I enroll? Do I start straight away? Do I need to wait? What are the course dates, Vicky? <laughs> well, we actually decided we did originally start offering courses several years ago with course enrollment dates, but because we have students wanting to enroll most days of the week, we actually decided as our course list grew that we would have an open enrollment. So what this means is whenever it is the best time for you to enroll, you can enroll and you can get started straight away. Every student, when they enroll, have access to their very first module and the resources or bonus materials that come with that first module. So that is immediate once you create your student account. So you can start at any time that suits you. And there's always people moving through their courses at different paces or at similar paces to you so that you have a group of people to connect with along the way if you choose to. People should know that I used to be a student at the, at the Institute and this was one of the reasons why I, I chose to and, and it was because as a very busy person working a full time job, I was studying another course at the time, having that flexibility and being able to choose when to start, um, knowing that there were no specific um, deadlines throughout the course and it was fantastic. Some of the courses, they tell you, hey, it starts this, this date. And then it's a, sometimes a bit of a struggle to be able to feed your life around that. So um, I think the fact that we are so flexible is actually really convenient and really great. Yes. And that actually leads to another question that's often asked along with when can I start? How long do I have to finish my course? Now, mm. we are big believers in uh, juggling life because life does happen with flexibility. So because we are a paperless institute and we do offer all of our courses online, all of our live group training calls, our one-to-one -one mentor and coaching calls, everything is done virtually online. You can download your content and print it out if you choose to, but everything is delivered virtually. So with that flexibility, you actually can move through the course at a comfortable pace that suits your lifestyle. Having said that, we do have actual completion dates and we do that for a reason. The completion dates are more than double the time that you could move through the course comfortably. And when I say comfortably, I mean with maybe five to 10 hours a week. So if you have less than that, if you have more than that, then of course you're going to move through the courses at a different pace and a different speed. But we do have a minimum amount of time that you can complete the courses and we have a maximum completion time Having said that, though, we do offer extensions three and six months if required uh, to help you navigate any life challenges that might arise as you're studying. But we do offer for our full certification courses 12 months of completion time. And again, that's more than double the time that is required or needed to move through those courses comfortably. For our advanced certification, you have 14 months. And for some of our shorter uh, certification or CPD courses, they're varying between six months and nine months. It just depends which course that you're enrolling in. But again, we always like to allow adequate time so you have plenty of time to move through and really take your time to digest the content and more importantly, to integrate what you are learning so that the knowledge becomes 
actionable experience and we are very big on that which probably leads to the next frequently asked question that we get about the course having any practical components this really sets us apart from a lot of courses that are offered online that lack that personal touch or that practical experience but Maggie, from your own personal experience, having been a graduate with us previously before actually joining the team, you had to go through the practical element of the course. So what would you say about that practical element and how it was for you actually implementing what you were learning in such a practical way? Hmm. I think it was. It, it is very much needed and I am surprised to hear that some of the courses actually don't have this, you know, so it makes us, it makes us really stand out and, and be very unique. I mean, I'm very thankful I had the opportunity to actually reach out to my community, other fellow students whom now I, I, I'm friends with um, and actually put into practice everything that I had been learning throughout the modules. As Vicky said, there's a lot of content. And even though you see, for example, for our holistic life coaching program, there are 12 uh, week worth of, of content there's so much there there's so much there for you to dive right into and explore and expand on that you need the time to absorb as Vicky very well said when you finish the first few modules and you're feeling that you're getting closer to your practical coaching stage you feel ready you feel ready to just go for it and start connecting with others and the fact that the institute allows you to to reach out to their community and find other students who are also on the very same stage practice with them it's just amazing you get real life coaching practice with them and um, and I think it's it's incredibly incredibly valuable it's very important to me when training practitioners and coaches particularly that you have the experience needed absolutely needed in order to become an effective change maker for your clients in not just the aspect of working one-to-one -one with a client knowing how a session would run and and not to bombard your client with questions but actually create that space that rapport between you and the person who is seeking your support and guidance and education to really practice being there actively listening and observing not just what they're saying but what they're not saying observing the body language the physical experience of the person as they are speaking or maybe as they are censoring what they are saying so that you have the skills of observational learning and application to really be effective in your ability to be present with your client and help them process or help them become aware of what's really going on and what they can do about it. Having that practical experience is absolutely essential. We provide for you core coaching competencies that guide you from the very beginning of how to create that coaching space and rapport, how to work with your clients, how to run a session, what you are doing in those sessions and what each session, like the difference between a discovery call if you use one, using a pre-questionnaire if you use one, the actual initial session working with a client and also the second, third, fourth and, and so on sessions after that, the progressive sessions and how there are small little differences in each of those sessions, how to start a session, how to wind it up to make sure that you are there ready for your client between the sessions so that it's very clear what they're working on. So the practical experience is absolutely essential and, uh, you know, I really worry about people who who do a, a very cheap course online where there is no practical experience or guidance throughout that process to really help them feel confident in being an effective change maker. And that really leads into the business side as well. Maggie, we have a, a stage, a final stage in all of our full certification courses, the last stage. It could be stage three or four, depending on which course you're doing. But that business section is just as essential as doing the practical coaching because often people who enter in this work, they really want to work for themselves. And with everything that's happened over the last couple of years, a lot of people are reevaluating. Many of our students have come to this study to uh, finally pursue something that is meaningful to them because they have had time to reflect. They have had time to really assess their priorities, what's most important to them. 
and they've had the time in some cases to really take that leap and pursue something that their heart has really been guiding them towards for a very long time. And perhaps it's also kickstarted from their own healing journey or awakening journey as well. So we have a lot of students coming to this work, reevaluating what they want to do. And much of it is because they want to work for themselves. They maybe want to also be location uh, independent, financially independent, uh, or even just be able to earn enough on the side to help support the family or to, you know, take the family away on holidays once a year. So it really depends on your goals and what you want to do. But part of this process of becoming a coach or a practitioner is learning to also be a business owner. And that's a huge thing that a lot of courses just don't include in their training. But I had to learn the hard way uh, over a decade ago when I first went into private practice. And I did not want any of our graduates to experience that kind of confusion after finishing a certification course, feeling confident to do what that piece of paper says to do, but lacking the skills of being a business owner and, and being left with a whole host of new questions of what do I do now? I've got my piece of paper. I've, I've, I've got the, the experience. I know how to help people, but I have no idea where to find those people. I have no idea how to reach them, how to speak to them, or even exactly who they are so that I know I'm sending the right message. So, you know, Maggie, you've gone through the business modules. How invaluable were they for you? Oh, yeah, they were amazing. They were actually, I think the business modules, I had a lot of fun when I, when I was going through them. Um, I knew for a very long time that I wanted to, to start my own business. And I had absolutely no idea where, where to start, right? I think those modules are a great foundation. They really show you step-by-step step what you should be paying attention to, focusing on first from uh, what's your niche going, going to be, uh, who your target audience is going to be, how are you going to put your message out there, what sort of um, services you, you would like to offer. You know, you might have a lot of ideas, but it isn't until you actually sit down and go through these activities and these, these tasks and you start reading and you do the research that you realize, whoa, there's a lot I need to learn. There's a lot I need to know about from insurance to, you know, like renting a space where I can host my sessions. And, you know, if you're doing this on your own, there's a lot of information on the internet that might not be right or accurate. And you might ask someone else that's already in business and they might tell you, especially when you go to social media these days, there are lots of people trying to sell the say goodbye to the nine to five, you know, and start your own business. And they sell it to you like it's a magical thing that can happen overnight. And it doesn't. It's, it's it, Opening a business, staying in business is something that takes a lot of work. And for you to set up your business and move forward with it, it will take a lot of hours of your life. And even though it's incredibly rewarding, it's very important to have resources like the ones that we have in these modules because you will know what you're doing once you finish your course. You'll feel ready to launch. You won't be feeling like, oh my God, okay, I completed this course, but right now I don't know what I'm going to do. No, <laughs> you'll have that certainty. You know, all these little things from how do I create my website or how do I create my branding? Is that important? What is the message that I'm putting out there? Do I have an elevator pitch? All of these things are covered in our course. And I think they are incredibly valuable. Yeah. Even just things like, do I need to register a business name or can I, can I work under my own name? How much am I allowed to earn before I have to start putting tax aside or have to form a company just to protect myself in a smart accounting way to protect yourself? All of those things we, we talk about and we guide you. And in different countries, there are different requirements. So, you know, just as there is different insurance requirements for different countries. So it's so important to know those things before you just head out there and, yep, I'm going to start a business. So that's why we wanted to make sure that you have all the foundations set down, even a business plan. I really, truly, honestly, when I first started, was not interested in doing a business plan. And uh, thankfully, my husband happens to be a marketing manager and loves lists, loves writing things down and really encouraged me to do a business plan. But it was probably one of the best things that I could have done to get all my fantastic, amazing ideas of all the things that I wanted to do, retreats, courses, four-day retreats, wellness days, as well as my one-to-one -one and my coaching packages and my workshops, 
all of that stuff I was able to put down, gain some clarity with, and then be able to systematically implement the service that I felt most confident and ready to launch one at a time so that gradually my business continued to grow over the years. So it's it's so sensible and I'm so glad that I did it. So as we've seen with our, with our students that go through and our graduates, when they actually work through that business plan, it helps them gain so much more clarity. It gives them the steps needed to know what am I doing next? What am I working towards? Who is my target audience? And more importantly, why am I in business? What is the meaning behind this that I want to get up every day and I want to keep taking the next action step forward in order to get out there, talk to people, share what I can help them with and make important connections or meaningful connections in my community so I can really make a difference. So all of those things are covered in, in the modules in the business stage. And you also leave with a signature 12-week program outline, a workshop template, and lots of other really cool resources for your business coaching toolkit. Let's see, what other, what other frequently asked questions do we get, Maggie? Some of our prospective students ask if we need to have a wellness background in order to understand the content in, of our courses. I didn't have one. <laughs> I came from uh, education. I'm a teacher. I did not have a, a wellness background and I did not have any problems understanding the content. It was all very well organized, really easy to, to understand, well written and very interesting. So if you haven't, if you have absolutely no idea about, you know, this wellness world, you are going to learn everything you need to learn. Yeah. And there's plenty of links and resources and references. As I was writing, I put them in throughout the course material. And also at the end of each module, there are additional resources and, and references there. I wrote it for those people, regardless of whether or not they had a traditionally trained counseling or wellness background, uh, or if they had come from a background that was completely different. I mean, we've had We've had a lot of wellness professionals and uh, health professionals come through the courses, but equally we've had people who have, there's a lot of teachers, a lot of nurses. Uh, we also have people who, who are accountants, who are in professions that have absolutely nothing to do with health or well-being or anything. And they have come through and they have thrived. So you don't necessarily need to have a background in any of these ideas or concepts or topics that are throughout the courses, you simply need to have a genuine interest in wanting to learn in having an open mind and being willing to think and feel and perhaps even behave differently as you progress through and integrate that learning into action in your daily life. So that's the only prerequisite that you need is an open mind and a genuine interest in this work. Yeah. <laughs> There's another question that, that we get very often as well, which is, will I receive a certificate at the end of the course? Yes, you will. Depending, of course, which course you are doing, we do have a couple of CPD courses that are shorter to module courses, and they're more for continuing professional development or more for specific information-based educational learning so that you're getting a, a very concentrated dose of a specific topic and all of the related aspects of that topic. If it is one of our certification courses, whether it is one of our six-month or our 12-month or 14-month certification courses, then yes, you do re receive a certificate for each of the stages of components that are complete courses within themselves. So you absolutely do. They are industry recognized, in some cases accredited, and they are internationally recognized for you. So many of our courses, we have to submit the content and meet all of the requirements for insurance in various different countries because there are different requirements in different countries, just as there are different educational levels through different quality frameworks of education in different countries. So everything has had to be verified and meet a particular standard in order for them to be recognised to have you be able to be certified so that you can ensure yourself as a coach or a practitioner. I think that the fact that, that these courses are internationally recognized, it allows people to work remotely. If, if there's been one thing that's come out of this pandemic that's been slightly positive or good, been that many of us have been able to work from home. So many people are having to commute for hours, spending 
two, three hours a day on public transport. And now we are able to work from home. And you can you can choose now if you want to live in, in the country you are now or you want to pack your bags and just take your laptop and move somewhere else in the world and you can still coach. Yeah. So the freedom that these these courses, the certification gives you is it's amazing. And that's that's evident because many of our graduates have done that moved from one country to another and still been able to work it's it's fantastic uh or just on that if you wanted to have a look at some of our graduates on our main homepage, if you have a look in the very middle of the top menu you'll see our graduates if you click on that link you'll be able to see a list with graduates in different countries around the world and you can go and have a look at their website and see what what amazing things some of them are really doing and and the good stuff they're putting out to the world which makes my heart happy (laughs) <laughs> so what else do we have here there is a very important question which is are there face-to-face classes yes there is now obviously not in person because we are based in australia in queensland in australia but we have students all around the world in some weird and wonderful countries and it's so nice to be able to connect with them face to face but still virtually so maggie I'm going to let you answer the rest of this question because you actually take some of our live collaborative role play classes where you have students who join and you use the breakout room. So for anybody who isn't aware of what breakout rooms are using Zoom, for example, would you like to just give a a quick explanation of how we do those live trainings? Sure. Um, we do host live training every month and we try to accommodate to all timetables because we know that we've got students from all around the world, as we said before. Um, so we do host them a couple of times a month to make sure that all of our students can join us. And um, I have been hosting um, collaborative practices recently where students are able to practice their coaching skills on other students. They're given also case scenarios. We all read through them and then go to breakout rooms which are rooms in the online space where students can work in smaller groups working in smaller groups they have the opportunity to to talk more often because you know being in bigger groups it's it's a bit more difficult and we want to want to make sure that all of our students have the opportunity to participate so we work in smaller groups and the instructors move around the groups and make sure that, that we all have time to exchange ideas, change questions and talk about how we would approach a certain case scenario. Then we normally go back to the main room and we all share what we've been uh, talking about in our rooms. Sessions are really dynamic, really interesting. Students get very excited about the content and sometimes you know sessions are planned to be an hour long but because students get so into it we're just happy to stay there for a bit longer and we have a great time and we have had fantastic feedback from our students they really value having that opportunity of not only learning what putting into practice what they are learning in the course but they get to connect with one another and making that connection also allows them to reach out outside that session and maybe organizing study groups organizing on their own one-on-one practice sessions and things like that so those trainings that we've been offering on a regular basis have been just amazing i've had so much fun as as an instructor and coach myself and we are going to continue to host them next year and i just can't wait for more of that because they're just so much fun i'm just laughing because i'm kind of remembering you know the very last one that we hosted the case scenario was just so interesting and students got really into it they really wanted to know oh my god what would i do in that situation so we got to see that situation from so many different perspectives and we learned so much together by just just being able to share all of our insights it was very productive they're really good this session yeah. was really good. <laughs> it, it was it was so confidence building uh, i remember that session i i do remember how much fun and laughter was going on in some of the rooms uh, but it's a great it's a great way to actually connect with people, regardless of where they are in the world, regardless if they're doing exactly the same course as you or if they're doing something similar. But it's such a fantastic way to gain confidence, to listen, to learn, to observe and feel that little bit more comfortable to join in and give your perspective and your thoughts just while you're learning from your fellow students. 
And uh, we've already planned out many of our live trainings and special topics for next year in 2022. We're very excited to, to share them with our students. And as graduates, our graduates are always welcome back to join our ongoing live training sessions, any of our special guest interviews, or if they have any issues with their business building or challenges with their clients and they're not sure what to do, we always encourage our graduates, reach out to us if you are struggling with a particular client or a business decision or even pricing for a program or a service or a workshop. Uh, just recently, one of our graduates was asked to do some virtual wellness coaching in the workplace in a corporate setting. And uh, quite a few of our graduates have been asked that, particularly over the last year. And, you know, just popping into the Facebook group, giving us an email, asking us, what do you think? How much should I charge? How do these things usually work? There's always such a wealth of knowledge in the group and we're always more than happy to support our graduates ongoing as well. It's, it's super important for me that uh, all of our graduates know they are not alone in business because many entrepreneurs who do work from home, they know exactly what it feels like to feel alone and like there is no one there that they can ask for guidance or support when they need it. Not our graduates. Our graduates can reach out to us at any time after graduation. They have lifetime access to the content, even when I update it, which I like to do regularly. And uh, they are more than welcome for uh, to reach out to us so that we can support them in their business as their business grows. And that's really important to us. Yeah, that was the, that was the next question, actually. <laughs> so what ah. sort of support will I get once I finish my course? So yes, well, it there is. you go. There you go. <laughs> So I think the last question that we haven't covered yet is, will I have enough time to complete my course if I work full time? I myself was the student. I was teaching full time and I was teaching online. So all of a sudden my workload doubled or tripled. Like it was, it was insane how busy I was and we were not used to working online like I am now. So that, that screen fatigue was real. So it was, it was really hard, right? And many of us were going through similar situations plus all the worry of everything that was happening around us. And I was still able to, to fit an hour a day. I just took an hour a day. That was my self-care routine. Take an hour a day for myself to sit down and read. You don't have to finish a module in two days. That's actually not something that we recommend. Um, just, you know, look at a section, you're in module one, look at the first section and say, well, today I have an hour and just do as much as you can that day. You actually get to enjoy and understand. You don't have to push yourself every day to finish 30 pages because that's not what this course is about. And I did, I did dedicate an hour a day, including um, an hour or two hours on Saturday mornings, but that was because I really, really liked and to go back to the content again and then expand on certain topics that things that I hadn't heard about before. But if you're pretty confident with what you are, you're reading and just, just an hour a day, it's more than enough to, to navigate through your course very comfortably. And as Vicky was saying, all of you will have continuous support from us. We get questions every day. Students have doubts about certain parts of, of the content or certain certain tasks, and we get back to you right away. Sometimes we even send you an audio so that you can understand very well where we're coming from, because some of the, the tasks are quite serious, right? So we want you to understand what our uh, point of view is as well, and, and to have a more personal approach. So we respond to emails, and we sometimes, something that we haven't mentioned before is that when you finish a workbook, uh, um, you get the opportunity to have a one-on-one -on -one Zoom session with your assessor. So if you have any questions, then you have that opportunity to get together with your assessor and ask all the questions you, you need to ask. That's also really good because you know that if you ever need anything, we're going to be there to, to support you. You're not going to be alone wondering, oh my God, what am I going to do next? No, you have a whole team there ready <laughs> to answer your questions. <laughs> yes, and they're all handpicked by me, so they're they're all fantastic, supportive, <laughs> genuine people who all have their own businesses in coaching or counselling themselves, and are all graduates as well. That was a must because I wanted them to to understand another content and how a student would feel. And they all have their own unique gifts and talents. And um, just on that workbook, when your workbooks uh, are sent in and assessed, 
we also provided a lot of feedback throughout your workbook to really be your champion, to encourage you and call out your bravery or help you see something differently if we see in there that you perhaps haven't given yourself credit for something that really needs to be recognized as a strength instead of a weakness. So we are actually coaching you throughout our feedback comments throughout your workbooks as well. So you're experiencing what that feels like to be supported and guided through, which, you know, is something that you're going to be offering your own clients eventually down the track. And then you have that one-to-one opportunity to connect with your assessor, as Maggie was saying, which is so important. Our assessors absolutely love connecting with their students. And uh, that's, that's a personal touch. And we really want you to have that as you move through. This is not just a course, great, here, get to the end, here's a piece of paper. I'm really not fond of that. I want you to earn that piece of paper, but I also want you to feel proud of yourself and confident in your abilities to do what that piece of paper says that you can do. And you will feel confident and ready to be an effective holistic life coach, mind body practitioner, holistic lifestyle coach, women's holistic hormone health practitioner, or mind body syndrome TMS practitioner, whatever it is, whatever course that you choose to enroll that has that that, uh, calling for you, we want to, and our aim is to get you to the end of that course, feeling confident and effective to do exactly that. And that's what makes it so wonderful to see all of our graduates. We have great feedback from, from all our students and graduates. People are really, really happy because they know that when they walk away from, from you know, when they finish the courses, they, there's so much content that they have, that they, so much knowledge that they take home with them. And it won't only help them on a professional level, but also at a very deep personal level. Yeah, yeah. I wrote the courses to be experienced personally so that you would effectively be putting yourself into the position of what it would be like for your future clients to sit with uncomfortable stuff, to look at things from a different way, to be challenged to think from a different perspective. So even though some of the tasks might be hard, they are hard in respect to They might make you feel a little uncomfortable as you learn to sit with stuff that maybe you haven't acknowledged or allowed yourself to experience in the past. And now is the time to learn from it, take away all of the good stuff, the positive learnings, leave the rest and use all of that new knowledge in a new way to help you move forward and do what it is that you want to do, which is help other people change their lives and have your own life changed in the process. That is our tagline, life-changing education. It is true and it is what our students and graduates actually feel when they go through the courses. So I think we've covered most of our most uh, frequently asked questions for you. Please feel free to send us an email, courses at mindbodyfoodinstitute.com. You can also message us through our Facebook page, Mind Body Food Institute or Instagram and send us a message through there. I think we've covered everything, Maggie. I think we have. Yes. Excellent. Good job. <laughs> Fantastic. We, we didn't want this to be a really polished video Q&A. We just really wanted this to be relaxed, casual, genuine, and to share information for you if you're thinking about doing any one of our courses and wanting to have us verbally give you the information so that you can get a sense of who we are and the fact that we really do genuinely care about our students and uh, we are real people on the other end of the Facebook page or the website. We love what we do. We absolutely love what we do and we want you to love what you do as well. So if what we have shared, if the courses really resonate with you or you're interested in all of these amazing, wonderful things that we teach, mind-body connection, biology of stress, neurobiology of trauma, all of that stuff, then go to the website, mindbodyfoodinstitute.com, go to courses, have a look at the courses, see which ones really draw you in and pull you in, read the content, see if it resonates. And if you like what we're offering, we welcome you to ask further questions or we welcome you to enroll and become part of our community. That's that, I think. Yeah, I think you've covered everything. (laughs) Awesome. All right, now we have to get Maggie cool. It's in Queensland. It is summer and it's very hot. She's originally from Spain, so she's not used to this weather. (laughs) I'm not used to this humidity, no. (laughs) You guys can probably see my hair flowing like this and it's because I have a fan right on my face. (laughs) Thank you so much, Maggie, for persevering through the heat and uh, (laughs) dealing with the sweat. (laughs) 
you have to move up higher to the to the great dividing range where we don't have so much humidity I have to go to the mountains <laughs> <laughs> thanks so much for sticking with us and watching this uh very relaxed and informal q a we hope it's been helpful and it's been educational or informative for you if you have any further questions reach out, get in touch with us, and we'll be more than happy to, to help and answer your questions or arrange a call. Thanks so much for joining us. Take care.